Let's pray together. Our gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we're getting ready to celebrate. We're in our last minute rushes to get everything done. We're trying to adapt to visits or lack of visits with family and friends this year. Things always are different somehow this year. And in the midst of the tragic news of the worldwide pandemic, we are amazed at all of those who are ill and stricken with the COVID and and especially saddened over all of the lives that have been lost, all of the families who've been touched. We pray for them especially in this season. We pray for those who are unemployed at this time of year especially. Lord, we see some hope coming with the vaccines. We're we're giving thanks for scientific minds that reach out and and create and do new things. We're thankful for the stimulation you give to all who help. We're thankful for people who live to ease the pain of others. In addition to all of the specialness of this season, we we have normal problems, oh Lord. We have sicknesses and we have loneliness and, and so many deaths. We are struggling, O oh Lord, with all that this season brings us. And yet, we have hope. We have hope because we are praying that the Christ child will become more than just a symbol. We're praying that our carols will come from deeper than just our lips. We're praying that our blessed Christmas will be a reality in all hearts, that Jesus will be born again in each life. We pray, O Lord, that you'll bless us this day as we worship and celebrate you. In preparation for celebration of the great gift, the greatest gift ever given, given by himself, given as Jesus came to be like us, even Jesus our Lord and our Savior. And all of God's children say, Amen. And now, as a special addition to our Christmas Sunday worship service, we invite you to listen to this excerpt from the Worship House Media, especially for those who think that the first Christmas happened so long ago. Listen and watch today as we see Joseph and Mary on Facebook.
until the Son of God appears. Oh.